Google lay off 12,000 employees and Microsoft lay off 10,000 employees and PayPal just announced they can lay off 17% of the employees. Those kind of big tech layoff happens every single day and every single week. All those news sounds extremely scary and stressful and actually leading to like mental health issues nowadays. But what I want to understand in this video is that there are still opportunities. You just need to apply the top five strategies and I'm gonna share with you guys that is able to help you increase your success with landing your next job very quickly during a recession. The same five strategies I shared with you in this video has also been proven and used by my students such as Sherry Wen, who was laid off by Robin Hood and quickly land five offers within seven weeks. And also Priyanka, she's a new mom with a three months old baby, was laid off and also quickly land her PM job within one month as well. So make sure you take lots of notes and watch this video multiple times so that you're able to apply the same strategies. Even if you're laid off, you can achieve better outcome as well. Make sure to stay until the end of the video where I'm gonna share with you how to improve yourself and zen yourself during high stress. Hi guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a direct product and featured in Forbes. I've helped 100 people land their dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startups and continue to get promoted as a product leader. If you're interested in product management course, please go to pmxr.io to learn more. To learn the most effective way to become a product manager, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button so you'll be notified every time I turn on a new video every Wednesday. Now strategy number one, don't blame yourself even if you were laid off because mental health is a foundation for you to push yourself forward to land your next job. First of all, let's understand the meaning of layoff. Layoff means that the company reduces the workforce of the employees, but it's independent of their performance, which means that when you are laid off, it has nothing to do with you being a good employee or bad employee. It's all about the economy, the recession. So you should be proud of self instead of getting depressed, feel like you don't worth it because the economy situation is totally out of your control. What you can control is what you can focus on. And actually, I'd love to share some personal failure because I personally went through two economical downturns. One is 2008 recession. The other one is April 2020, the hiring freeze at the beginning of the pandemic. I literally let my mind took over me, even if I had all the skills I needed to land the next job. For example, during the 2008 recession, all company layoff employees. At the time, I also need H1B sponsorship and I just graduated with my PhD program. And I felt like there is no opportunities for me because I have no experience no visa, no green card, and limited time for me to land a job. Guess what? I start to become very depressed, feel like I don't worth it, and I end up hurting myself. It's crazy. So we just like walking on the street, trip myself, and I end up going to interview on crashes. You can see the pictures here, right? <laughs> 10 years ago, I went to interviews on crashes. But until I started to just tell myself, give myself a permission saying that it's okay, the economical environment is not doing well, but I know what to do and I can give so much value to the employer. That's when I started to invent those five strategies and start to teach myself and start to accelerate my job hunting journey. And towards the end, I was still able to land three job offers during 2008 recession. So therefore, I recommend all of you guys do not stress out, but focus on the right strategy, which I'm gonna share with you right here. Strategy number two is understand the market trends during recessions and layoffs. Guess what? It is true, right now, majority of fan companies, they had layoffs and Google, Microsoft, different kind of big company layoffs. And the number of layoffs also increased the competitiveness of the market because all of a sudden there are Google, hundreds of Google product managers, and hundreds of people from Meta looking for jobs, competing with all of you guys. It just felt as impossible. However, you need to understand where to find those opportunities. In this case, majority of the job openings actually come from small medium companies. Those are fast growing startups. For example, we have a student land a pre-IPO startup offer and the company is going to IPO in Q2 2023. So it's still good opportunities for you to join the next Google even if we're going through a recession. Now you may ask me this question, Nancy, is there opportunity still in fan company? Should I just completely give up? No, because you need to look into the contracting position within fan companies. For example, in the first two weeks of February and our students still land two fan offers. One is from Meta, but it's a contracting position within Meta because Meta doesn't have a full-time headcount right now, but they still need to grow a certain part of the division. So the recruiters actually proactively reach out to my students saying, hey, do you want to interview for Meta? 
So there's still opportunities out there for fan companies, but it's more like contracting position. The other offer we had in the last two weeks is also the Amazon L6 PM internship position out there. So they're still hiring interns, and therefore I want you guys to figure out maybe contracting positions or different kind of other positions in fan companies you can start to experiment. Strategy number three is to position yourself strategically. Now, positioning is very critical because right now you are competing with Google layoff PMs or Meta layoff like people. The market is so competitive regardless you're applying for product manager positions or customer success positions. So many competition out there. So how to position yourself in this over competitive market is following the three things. Number one, you're able to increase your success rate significantly if you go after your competitor's company because you're able to immediately help your competitor to build a better product than your current company who lay you off. Number two, find a company that can leverage your unique skill set. For example, if your skill set is in AI, running integration with ChatGPT, any companies, regardless of the industry, as long as they're working on something AI or something to do with ChatGPT, they are more than happy to hire you even if you didn't work for Google or Meta. Number three is leverage your industry knowledge. I like to emphasize regarding the importance of industry knowledge. For example, if a position is looking for payment product manager, even if there's a Google product manager working for a self-driving car, he doesn't have the payment industry knowledge. So self-driving car product manager is not a good fit for the payment industry, the fintech industry. So it's a completely different ball game. So if I were you, regardless, you have a product manager title or customer success title, I want you to think about the unique industry knowledge you have that you can bring in to your new employers immediately to add value to them. I have a question for you. Do you know someone who is laid off and unemployed right now? You really need to like this video and share this video with those people because you're able to change so many people's lives. Strategy number four is to highlight your achievement on your resume. I emphasize this multiple times in my video where I talk about the interview tips. You should watch this video end to end and take lots of notes. But lots of people forget to apply the achievement session on their resume. On each of your resume, you should describe your resume as achievement session and roles responsibilities. Most 99% of candidates only talk about roles responsibilities, forgot to talk about their achievements. Let me give you specific examples regarding what kind of achievement you can write on your resume. Launch 3 million worth of e-commerce products in collaboration with Fortune 500 companies within 6 months. Reduce product launch and onboarding timeline by 51% after prioritizing backlogs and new features with engineers. If you do not put those kind of achievements, you cannot stand out from the competition. So therefore, I recommend everybody to go to this website. We are able to download the Killer Product Manager resume template that be used by 7,000 product managers to enhance the skills to get way more interviews than other candidates. Make sure to go to this website and also I'm going to link it in the description as well. Strategy number five is find a coach to provide customized advice. When there's a lot of stress going on, it's very important you need to check in with someone who are much more experienced than you and tell you what went wrong in your job application process. The third party validation is help you to guide you through the process to understand what went wrong and actually if you continue to stay in the same level without improving yourself, it's very risky because you are eventually running out of time and running out of opportunities. And the importance of having a coach is also going to help you to improve your mental mindset because a good coach is able to motivate you, build your self-confidence and tell you that you're worth it and this is a reality and here's a room for improvement and you are able to make it happen. And I personally invested $32,000 in coaching last year to help me to improve my mindset and strategy. So therefore, I recommend all of you guys to find any paid coaches, non-paid coaches, and continue to help you to survive in this upcoming winter. If you're interested in coaching, make sure to go visit our website, pmxr.io, to learn more. If you have any upcoming interviews, make sure to watch the sample interview questions playlist right here and get ready to nail those interviews. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I wish all of you guys good luck in your upcoming job hunting journey. Keep me posted. This is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMXerator.io.